Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Today I'm going to be doing my living room tour. I'm going to be taking you through my living room pretty briefly, but I'm going to go into the details of my parts of the living room. I share this place with two other people and I just want to tell you my pajama set is from Toki Doki's Peter Alexander collaboration. This is from the children's line from that collection. There is an adult range, but um, they didn't come out with this set in the adult range. So I bought a children's size 14 and it fits well. Um, it's like a top and a short set and it's really, really soft. Anyway, let's get into the living room tour. You can kind of see the vibe around me, but let's get into it. Wait, let me take a thumbnail. Okay, that was the thumbnail. Let's get in. So when you come in the front door, there is this little part here. I have my umbrella. This one is a Leonardo da Vinci one. And it's so funny. When I was younger, I never wanted to take this out because it has this picture of a naked man on it. And I was embarrassed when I was um, like a teenager, but now I use that all the time. I have an Oriton umbrella. And then this pink and black one is from my Draculaura cosplay. It's like a umbrella that I've painted and put ribbons on and stuff. But yeah, I probably use the Oriton one the most just because... It's like, I could just grab it. It's taller. That one's if I really needed to put something in a bag. Um, we have these fairy lights going across the top. My sister popped those ones there. Um, and then this is a Billy bookcase from Ikea. The bottom shelf used to have shoes on it, um, but I've moved those recently. Um, this row of books down here is mine. Um, so you can have a look at some of my books. Not all of my books live on this bookshelf. A lot of them are still at my parents' house, but um, yeah, that's some of my books. This is a picture of Wafer. Our pet cat. I'm not sure if he'll be around in this room tour, but you know. Um, and then I have my warm vanilla sugar um, Bath and Body Works fragrance there. This is like a bunch of keys and like random junk. Um, so yeah, um, this is a little book that my grandma made for me. It's cute. Um, and then here I have the Mona Museum of New and Old and New Art. Um, Mona Museum candles in these two cents, sex and death. Um, these are also my books as well. So these are all books that I've already read, but, um, yeah, just a bunch of books. Um, that's a gift that was for a friend, but I still haven't given it to him. And then over here, I have a picture of me, my sister and my friend, Laura, at a ball that we went to. Um, this was a gift from Gabby, this Star Wars figurine. And then I have these three candles that I bought in Hobart at the Salamanca Markets. And they have a really cool vibe. Oh, they're kind of stuck. Yeah, I just really like the airbrush look of them. They give me a really good energy. And then over here I have um, uh, another Star Wars figurine. And then I have my Polaroid camera. Mine's yellow because yellow is my favorite color. Um, behind there I have some DVDs. Most of these are not mine. Um, the ones that are mine are probably the Archer ones. Um, I have the Friends gift set. Um, and then I have a couple of other ones. I'm not sure where they are, but like this, like, um, I have the Ratatouille movie, Amelie is my favorite movie of all time, The Castle is another classic, the Glee ones are probably my sister's, um, I have the Little Mermaid box set, but I don't know where that is, anyway, bunch of movies, um, going along, we have this big mirror, and I feel like it really makes the room a bigger space, sometimes I throw shoes down there, that's why there's no shoes down there right now, but yeah, usually there are shoes there, but yeah, this is a really big, large mirror, and I just feel like it brightens up the space a lot, and makes it look like um, there's more room than there is. And also another thing I like about this mirror is this is where we usually would take mirror selfies. Um, if I'm going out and I want to take a photo of my outfit before, or if I want to take a group photo with friends, it's quite a large mirror. So you can fit in a lot of people into an image or just to all look at yourselves. Um, yeah, fairy lights going across the top. I have these two lava lamps here. This tablecloth is from Ikea. These chair covers, I'm not sure because my sister bought them. The placemats are from Ikea also. Um, these are some flowers that my boyfriend got me for Mardi Gras that are now all dried up, but they were rainbow roses, as you can tell. They were really, really pretty, but they are drying up now because it's so hot in Sydney. Um, they dried up. Um, I have, yeah, two lava lamps. These were a gift from my aunt to my parents for their wedding. And now that one's my sister's and that one's my one. And then my sister has her, like, um, OK Google thing. And then over here we have, um, OK Google, it's OK. Thank you. That makes me so happy. You're most welcome. Um, I have this photo frame set that's like, this one's falling down, but yeah, essentially it's photos of me and my sister, um, because yeah, I live here with my sister. And then we have these little figurines. These are all from, I want to say Gloria Jeans. Um, when I used to go and get my hair done by my sister when she was still at TAFE, 
Um, these little Gloria Jeans figures were free with um, when you spent a certain amount of money at the Gloria Jeans next to her tape. So I'd get those, come back to her with um, a drink and we'd sit there and she'd do my hair at TAFE together. Um, working around the um, floor mat is a gift from Emma. I'm not sure where they got it from, but it's pink and bobbly and it's cute. Over here, this desk that's really messy is my desk and I'm not going to go through it because it's like chaos in there, but I would like to give a shout out to my calendar. This is the Men of Hawaii calendar that I bought at the ABC store last year. Um, and I've been looking forward so much to opening it. So yes, wait, let me put it on the table so you can see it probably. Men of the Islands. And then these are all the different men of the island or islands. Yeah. Um, comment your favorite men of the islands in the comments down below. Um, I don't know if I have a preference, but yeah, I'd like to hear you guys' preference. And if you guys have a preference, then I might share mine. But yeah, got that from the ABC store in Hawaii. And I just thought it was really funny. Um, if you bought, like, if you spend a certain amount of money, you got a calendar or I needed to spend a certain, I don't know. There was some reason I needed to get it. On the fridge, I have ECA magnets, pictures of me and Thurza. Um, that's a meal plan that's all falling apart. Um, cards and stuff from family members over here I have some trophies up the top from different like competitions and stuff so like I think there's a cheer one and there's an art one there that's my bum bag from Hawaii um yeah this is a mirror that rotates also so um if I rotate this around if it will let me also on the wall over here, I have all of my cheer bows and all of my medals. Um, inside here, there are more trophies. So that's Thursday's shelf. That's another one of Thursday's shelves for like plaques. And then all of mine live on one shelf. Um, and then down there, there's just some bags. I'm not even sure what is in those. Um, but yeah, that's what's over there. Um, going here, we have some cat scratching. Oh, I also have more cheer stuff like medals and bows hanging from the sides of this as well as some clothes. Um... Yeah, down here I have this um, mushroom that's the cat's, and then this is the cat's cat tree. Now, with the cat's cat tree, it used to go all the way up and be taller, but recently um, my sister s taken this off. I'm not sure why, but let me prop it up so you can get a vibe. Um, so it used to look like that. That was on that stick there, but she's taken it off recently. I'm not sure what's happening with that, but, yes, that's the cat's tree. And then working my way over here, we come to this lamp, which I really like. Um, it's just a standard lamp. And then we have, oh, the cat is down here. G'day, mate. Yeah, he's just enjoying. There's like a door to the balcony here. And so he's enjoying some fresh air, some sun. Hello. You are right down there? He's so cute and furry. You're a furry little dog. Um, if you're wondering why he bonked my phone, I've got these jingle jangle charms hanging from my phone. And so if I come up to him, jingle jangle. Nah, sometimes he bonks him. There he goes. Oh, you almost ate it. Anyway, yeah, he's down there chilling. Um, this is the couch. Now with our couches, we put these like blankets over the top of them so that um, it's easier to clean because we can just clean the blanket. And also it's like soft and cozy and comfy. We also have these pink blankets on each gray blanket. So couch, gray blanket, pink blanket, and then the hearts. So these hearts, we actually thrifted from an op shop and I just put them through the wash. And now we have these pink and red hearts, which adds so much to the room. We have this table over here and then down here, we just have a bunch of junk that's the cats. Yep. It's all your junk. He has like a crate of his stuff. This is a um, little light that my grandma made for me. So there's a light that just uses a battery in there. This is my sister's head scratcher. And then this essentially has all these little um, holes punched out in like flowers, not flowers, um, butterflies and stars. And my grandma made this for me. There's a rabbit. You can see there's like a duck, there's different shapes. It's really, really cute. She made that for me as a gift and I love it. And I have my tissue box, which is Hello Kitty, of course. Look how cute. Anyway, going here, we have a lamp and I just face that one at the ceiling so they can create some ambient lighting. Going down over here, we have the couch and this is the couch where the cat often sits on the tops of um, so that he can watch outside. Um, but yeah, we have the cat's bed that he never sits in symmetrical pillows, a pink blanket and the gray blanket. This 
bed actually this is actually a bed um so it looks like a sofa right now but it pulls out into a double bed which is cool also if you're wondering where the pink rug on the floor is from this circular rug that you always see is from Kmart I wouldn't actually recommend it just because my sister bought this before I moved in but it sheds a lot and so I really don't like the amount of shedding on the floor you can see there's little bits of pink everywhere that's shedded from the blanket this is kirami chan who is a um sanrio character that is about to be discontinued which is super sad but um yes this is totally wafers kirami chan and he loves to throw kirami chan around um yeah going back over here we've got after the pull out couch slash bed we have some coasters my sisters my roommates um pictures of my roommate my sister and i back here um at her year 10 formal and my year 12 formal um pictures of us at Puro Land. That's me, James, and my roommate. And then I have the Barbie candle from the Barbie movie. And then this is a little light here that turns rainbow. Um, back here we have some more photos. These were up, but my sister pulled them down because she didn't like um, photos of me and her everywhere. Um, and then she's in an argument with me at the moment. And then um, these are photos of me and my best friend, Maddie. Um, she's my childhood best friend and we are still very much in touch. Um, this is at her eighth birthday and this is at her 18th birthday. So I guess on her 28th, we'll have to take a picture. Um, there are some toys here. The Furby is a gift from my grandma when I was a kid. I have my fur reel, Totoro. I have a rainbow lorikeet and then I have the box to the Barbie fragrance um, because it's just so pretty. I just couldn't get rid of it. It's just such a like nice colorful box anyway going up these are okay uh the you know um bears that you get signed when you leave school so those are my sister and my roommates this ones that's my roommate's graduation hat this is my cowgirl hat i wear that a lot actually that's why it's out here and then i have my little acu painting that we did at like an orientation day or something or like an open day um me and the team made that and then we were not sure what to do with it and so i kept it and you know what i smile when i see it and then this is a Peyton Sip um, picture that I drew um, with the team at a team bonding event at the end of um, one of the seasons. This is a little bobblehead hula doll for a dashboard. I bought this in Hawaii and although I don't drive, I do like to see her. Um, over here, I have these candles that I melted while um, I was hosting an event. There's a bit of fluff on it, um, but yes, they melted into this big pile and I kind of love the way they look. So yes, I just have this massive candle, crazy amount of cables down there. Um, my roommate's menorah. And then this was a frame. Um, and then I had a photo inside of my sister and I, but my sister took it out and then my roommate put, um, one of her books in there instead. This is the TV. And then over here we have this light, which was a gift from my friend Sloane and it turns on. It's really, really pretty. It gives Beauty and the Beast vibes. It's really, really gorgeous. I literally gasped when I opened this because it's like, it's such a stunning gift. It was just very thoughtful. There we go. And then, oops, yeah. Um, I have these two Prosecco bottles that are very pretty. Um, but yeah, I just have some flags that suit the vibes of us living here. And then I also have this um, Prosecco bottle that has the candle on the top which is all burnt out. I need to replace that. Over here, I have this Christmas photo of me and my friends um, on Santa's lap. And yeah, we've got the emos over here. Um, Maple's wearing like a rave outfit. I'm wearing a very like pink girly outfit. These plastic acrylic frames, the pink, are from Typo, by the way. And then I just have a pole, pole, I don't know why I said it like that. I have a pile of Polaroids here. Um, they're just ancient ones from high school. And then um, I have this little pennant, would you call this? Like a banner. Um, this is from when we won nationals um, at Cheer Brands in 2022. And then going down here, we have the litter box, which belongs to Wafer. We have a chair, which I have a bucket underneath. And that has things that belong to Emily Morgan that I need to take to her next time I see her. Um, I have like a gift for her in there and stuff. And then down here, this is Wafer's like, 
I don't know. The cat likes to rip up this cardboard thing. I'm not sure what it's for, but um, my roommate's got that for him. And then he has that little toy down there, which he does use. He chases little balls around in the little pink circle thing. As you can tell, we have a bit of a pink theme going. Um, but yeah, that's everything in the living room. Thank you so much for joining me for my living room tour. I hope you enjoyed. Like, comment, and subscribe if you want to see more content from me. And I'll see you in the next video. I have other room and house tour videos up on my channel if you're interested in seeing more like this. Anyway. Love you lots. Find me everywhere at Emily Titch 20 and I'll see you next time. Bye.